Hey everybody, it's me, your boy RJ. Today, we're gonna replace the latches on your Avalanche or Escalade Tone covers. Uh, over time, this is what happens to them. They get all poopy and then they stick, okay? Plus, if they get water in them, I'm gonna touch up those. And then uh, real soon here, I don't got time because we got our things going, but I'm gonna peel these off, clean under them from all that debris and uh, re-silicone them, show you how to keep it so water doesn't get in between and fall through. First thing you'll need, Torx 30, and a good strength socket wrench. So you got some leverage. You go nice and slow. Take your time. These are plastic, don't use it. Okay, get that one. Uh, you have to get these off or to get on eBay? Yeah. Okay. Or eBay. eBay or junkyard. Um, the first thing that goes with the junkyard is these panels because they're easy for the scrapper guys who try to buy stuff up and live off of uh, reselling stuff from the junkyard. They quickly get these and they try to charge $100. And for whatever reason, people pay it. They're not worth that, though. And they'll try to sell these all as holes, hundreds, or they sell these. Would we pay like 50 bucks? I don't remember. Yeah. Ridiculous. Some ridiculous amount. This one's really nice. That one's really abused. It was a set. Yeah, I know. As I said, we paid 50 or 60 bucks for the set. So, unfortunately, that's what you gotta do, and these do go bad. Especially if you got the water getting through. So, what I said, what I need to do is pull these so that they are no longer leaking. And a lot of your leaking comes through there. Of course, how the parts comes to the gutter. And this is it. I'll put a link to this eBay listing we bought it from, I think, if it exists still, just so you can find them and see that they at least send you pretty good quality ones for the price. Not all the sellers will be the same. Though. Yes, yes. That's why I said I'm sending a link to this guy. We know that theirs came well. Uh, I'm gonna get this off. I think I'm gonna get a brush out and scrub this here because it's got a lot of rust and paint chips from this guy coming off. This one here is so bad I had to use like my feet to get it off and bounce it. Yeah, see that? I'm gonna get a brush out and we're gonna clean this up. We'll back in a minute. Well, okay, get some soapy water. Get in here, clean it. Get a towel to dry it off with afterwards. Um, you may go get one. No, no, we're good for a second. And then if you can, you got this toothbrush here for cleaning too. Um, get in here a little and let some of that out, but just because you're there. Any of that you can get out makes the contact better. Um, and then next time I said we're going to get in here, we're going to restore the rubber and re-silicone. I almost feel like cheapening and silicone it today, but then I'm going to have to cut it off again. I don't, I don't feel like doing that today. But when I do, I will make a video and I will show you a restore of that. You also have this that can be cleaned under and possibly if you can get in there and silicone it. Because then this is supposed to rain guard out like a gutter into your gutters in your bed. Um, so we can seal these. They're just plastic pins, but you got to be gentle. And then it won't go under here and under there. And I'm going to clean all these points, so this ledge is what goes against this rubber seal on that panel. So any pieces of debris and dirt in there are going to cause it not to seal well and cause water to run through. Yeah, see that? Look at that. Water's going. If it gets in there, it's going right through on that guy. All right, we're going to pause this up and be back in a Ready? Mm -hmm. All right, I could do a better job in seeing this all the way down and start over, but I just want to touch this up here to get it done today. We're going to try it out. One day I'll come here and do it. But as you can see, it's all pooey. I'm going to do that one. Maybe do a little better on that one. We got some Krylon all in one paint with primer, and I'm just going to let it dry before putting it on because it helps the. Uh, Not this, like it breaks off when the stuff's wet. It's like rusting 
you know, rust into that connection and make it lock off, okay? That's what most of the debris was that caused the lock to go bad. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Just hit that and let it dry. Hopefully, one coat's enough for now. Like I said, next time I'll come out and sand it and make it beautiful. All right, I'm just doing all this process to get it all smoothie. I scrubbed all these with a brush. I'm gonna scrub this rubber seal on this. Like I said, it's not enough. You need to really get in here and restore it. Pull these off and uh, get some silicone in there, okay? Back in a little bit. This new one I got has a slight little chip there. So before I even put it on, I'm gonna hit with this Krylon just to give it a little extra protection. I'm gonna scrub it up. Rub it up, dub. Scrub, scrub it up, dub. This fat boy won't fit in your tub. <laughs> If you don't know, if you didn't know, now you know. All right, so we're back in a second. I'm gonna touch this up with some paint. Crowd on. You see, it's, it's not even that much, it's just a little bit. I want her to give it a little extra protection. Um, the one I hit up a few minutes ago has dried to the touch. And you see, there's still some chips there, so it's not great, but. It's better than what we had. Hope oh, something has not dried up. <laughs> yeah. But it's got to use the old bolts. So after I scrubbed them down and got all the the rust out of the hinges, I lightly hit them so that they're not corroded. And then I'm hitting this up where it needs it. Little touch-ups just because it can't hurt. Make it a little more waterproof. Try not to get it where the mechanism is. Okay, and we're gonna let these dry. All right, bye. so here we go. We got it touched up, cleaned up. Yes, clean these all up. Got them re-threaded, re repainted. You gonna put the new guy in there? Yeah, no, there's a little mark. I touched it while it's still wet, but it's good now. Like I said, I think I told you already, torque's 30. It's going to be much better than trying to use a torque style Allen wrench. Use a socket wrench. Have, you should have a burn mark from the old design of dirt. But yeah, so you want to look at it and have an L. And on that side, you have a backwards L. Or from where I'm at, it's a 7. Whatever. <laughs> we got that. Make sure you do it because you want to make sure you turn the right way. And look at that bad boy. Oh, that's noise. We clicky click, click. Okay? Click, click. Click, boom. click. Boom. That's right. Um, if you want, you could lightly silicone around the bottom so that water doesn't get under there and cause it to rust away like the last one. But it still could anyway. So no matter what you do. Boom, boom. We got this guy over here. Okay. Let me see. Said, clean them up. This one, I didn't go all the way down. That one I did. Come on over. Okay. I decided to scrub a little harder on this guy and I went to the bear and it looks good. Okay. But it looks like I missed that spot when I painted on the back side so i'm gonna hit that up let it dry we should have got it all together so it's a clear coat but that's okay it's better than it was it'll protect it from the rust and there we go be back okay, so when you're gonna pull, pull this i'm gonna do it now um and there's just some little mouth staples that go through that they put in to hold it through that um so you're gonna need to pull them out when you put it back but look at this this is why you don't get a seal anymore it just leaks all through same thing right here watch staples are gone they rusted away all right, look at that all it's that stress. debris causes all that to come out and cause them to leak so might not want to clean it on top of that I'm over here okay. I'm off the edge okay. yep. get scrub maybe some uh, green scrubby pad uh, I can soak for a minute too I think I'm gonna need a green scrubby pad 
And then this guy, you have to get down in there with the toothbrush. Maybe in an air hose. Get that, look at that. See it? It's all that old, whatever they use. Whatever they used, caulky crud. Um, and just scrub down in there as much as you can. Spray some water. I'm gonna get the hose out. I'm gonna blast in there, see how much we can get away. And then uh, find a little stronger brush. This guy get in there. I don't know if I can oil yeah, he's getting in there. So, guys, up with long bristles. Getting there real good. You're gonna have to pull, like I said, all those staples out. So that you can put it back and then we're going to silicone in there so that it seals and then we're going to put some stuff like a uh, rubber uh like armor all or any of that you have rubber restore um, mcguire's whatever and it'll help it seal it a rubber preserver i'll see what i got and i'll let you know and then i'll see if there's any natural ones you can use okay be back in a few Okay, I'm just using a Phillips to get in here and get some of that crud out first before we go and hose it off. My nice Phillips will just reach in there, get a lot of it. A lot of it's caked, um, so we're going to probably put this in the tub or something. I'm going to see if I can spray it off the hose, let you know, and then we're going to tub. And then if you got some heavy duty silicone spray to uh, revitalize these, are boiled water submerged but this thing's huge I ain't going to be able to do that okay so yeah they have some uh, rubber restorers some places I don't know of an exact brand but I know it exists um it's like a wipes Murphy's or somebody probably makes one all right we'll be back in a few have to get it all we cleaned up done double check for uh, cracks in the sides of the panels see all this water that was in this panel all of it see it Lot. It's still going. I'm going to show you how. Come here. Can you see the crack? Is mm -hmm. the two panels separated? Yeah. Hold yeah. Right. Yes, sir. See the split? All that water gets up in there over time. All that water. So I'm going to drain all this out. I and as you can see, if you see, I can squeeze it now. It was open more. No, it's they can't all see out of here. Okay, well. There's a line here, okay? Focus. After it does, I'm gonna silicone that. It still can leak from in here. These holes from this plastic go into the same area. So if you get a ton of water in there, it leaks, and you see how this was? It used to have a tape that sealed it. So like I said, I'm gonna also clean here and silicone that solid. Um, so that it doesn't, it comes through, it hits the rubber, it hits these, it's supposed to go offside, but it doesn't. It goes right through, drip, 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 and you're caught. And that's how they fill up. And this one fills up from having a hole up here. And every time it rained, it went in. As you can see, I'm still leaking. It's getting better, though. That was a lot of water. Yours might be doing it, too. Um, you could, if you want, take all these screws out and open it up. But that's a lot of work. Alright, make sure you got it the right way. So, this side goes like this, okay? Did you take those staples out? Yeah, I took all the staples out. Okay. Okay, so we got it real clean. Much you can, there's a little bit here and there. I could spend hours doing it. Okay, see that? We're gonna take some of this Loctite brand clear silicone. Looks like I might have to punch a hole in the end. Those are probably things they, uh, they reseal themselves. Clean that off there. Use this for something else recently. Okay. You can also use silicone caulk if you want. This is basically silicone caulk. Um, but it should work the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. Clear it. And then after you put it in, you want to go along there too. I think I'm going to use my silicone caulk that I have actually, but I'm going to use all this up first. 
this strong. I probably could have used the towel. as you can so that it seals like I said if you want to get some silicone it has like a needle tip but you probably threw that away I, did. I, did. I lost this a long time ago you can uh oh I know how to use this bar I sealed up my rear brake light on a uh, the 97 Dodge okay this works you can also like I said get silicone caulk and then you get a caulk gun which makes it a little easier if you're gonna do all of it, you might as well have some silicone caulk. All right, everybody, so we put it in, uh, holding it in there well, and locked it in. I'm hoping putting it in there will help hold it in its place. We'll see if it does. If not, we're gonna have to pull it off and clean all that silicone out and redo it. Um, later, I'm gonna come by when David doesn't look like it's gonna rain, and I'm gonna light silicone right on top of here, okay? You want the seal seal and you want all the water to come out here so that it goes down in here. It goes under there and hits these. And when it hits these, it goes in here. See that? So I'm going to pull this off later. Different day, I'm going to pull this off. It's just a bunch of plastic pins and I'm going to clean it real well. And silicone, because I'm going to show you how to look. Come here. See it? It had a two sided sticky tape that goes away. Mm -hmm. So since it's not, what's happening is you'll catch water and it'll go and run out the back. So real soon here, I'm going to do that. And then the water goes doop, doop, doop. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Pause it. This is a clear silicone in a white container. The other one said clear. It was in a clear container. It's over there. It was actually a white. So here we go. Yeah, that looks gross. I'm going to seal half because half of this is still sealed. Surprisingly, so I'm gonna put this here. Like the tape, there's the double side tape wore out on the ends. So I'm just gonna caulk under here so that the rain makes it to the end. Okay, I know I'm making a mess. Y'all, I'm using my finger to clean it up a little after. See that? That bad boy seal. Look right there, it's like ripped in half. It's weird. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna push that all in. And then I'm gonna have to back this off a little. Lift it up, hold that for me, so that I can figure it. No. Nah. Make a nice, good seal here. A mess to clean up. Got some more caulk there I need to use, and there it's sealed. Um, there's a lot of caulk mess here. Are you there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. So, what I did after I put it and got it in place, I got a thin bead of Okay, more than a thin bead, unfortunately, of silicone. And just bring it in to fill that crack so that water doesn't get in there, run behind and run under. That's what happens and why it ruins all that uh, stuff over time, all that white putty glue they used. Hand me that blue towel, please. Maybe even don't seal it all away when you do it. Just do, you get some over, you get it on there, and guess what's going to happen? Panels are going to stick together. So, so, with the outdoor stuff, um, because like I said, silicone will hold up better to uh, UV rays over time. You get the regular caulk, kind of breaks down. So, before it dries up good, get a nice, smooth 
finger just going down like that so it's messing up. And just smooth it. And there you go. Um, this should stop it. Now what we're going to need to do is this guy. He actually looks... Yeah, see the gutters? Can you see it? It's kind of pulling a little. And that one is loose. See it? Yeah, it's messed up my caulk. Okay. So, you want to be careful. And then we're going to do those other panels another day. Maybe I'll do a video again so you can double check and watch me. See me do it again in case you didn't get it today. But every once in a while, wipe these out too. That stuff clogs up. See that guy? He's popping out, so he needs to be done. Okay, so whole process is that we're trying to get this water to run here. It goes over these, goes down into this gutter. The little gets through. That gutter goes out to here, which runs into these drain shelves. Okay. Um, yeah, it's right there. So we're just full. I don't yeah. know. Okay, there. Uh, every once in a while you gotta get out and check them, make sure the drains are not clogged either. And I'll show you that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I got duct tape here in the gutter because these split. It's uh, plastic. It's not and duct like, tape. It's like gorilla tape. Gorilla tape, duct yeah. tape, whatever. Um, and I scrubbed it all the way down and cleaned it. Mm -hmm. And duct tape top and bottom years ago and it holds up but uh what happens is there's a seal here that holds this and this so it flexes and it rips if you lean on it over time what i'm gonna show you right here is these get clogged and this is the drain hey okay, look at that see here, over here see all that just grass and stuff can you see it mm -hmm. okay if that gets clogged there's a little hole right here here come on, see if you can see it can you see it yep they got it right there okay that hole guys so that's clogged, it won't drain. Every once in a while you guys check it out. Um, Cause if so, this backs up and then it just runs out of the back of your bed. It's kind of annoying. But, just one of the things you gotta deal with. That water goes into here and just drops out on the bottom. And then uh, you have a drain right here in the bottom of your bed. See in there? You gotta make sure that guy's not clogged, see it? Can you see it? It's like a flip type. See it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, clog that. There's one like that up front. And this goes into a drain mostly here, but I believe there's a hole like this up front too, just in case the water goes both ways. Let me check this hole. I think this one was unclogged when I just checked, but yeah, it's good. But there's debris in here. I'll get it out. Okay, so there we go. I didn't do all the other ones sealed up, at least that panel. It's got new clip new uh locks so it holds tight so much water won't get in there and uh i'm gonna wait until it gets hot out of lunch hopefully dehydrates all that before i seal that side because it was still leaking there at the end right after like 20 30 minutes mm -hmm. so i don't want to seal water in there okay that's our video for today i will put the link to the ebay or wherever we found these at i don't get anything for it i'm not commissioned only on my amazon uh, walmart don't give me commission either but i'll put those up just because I know that this guy sends good ones. But as I showed you, one of them's kind of tore up looking. If you're that picky, then you're, you might not be happy. But they worked this smooth. And they were clean. So he probably hits junkyards and resells them. But there you go. That's not the new one. I know. I'm going to take that off and clean that too. Okay? Yeah, but they work still good. Yeah. Um, those two were doing it because this one obviously is leaking right there if you want to show you is if this gutter was leaking they were broke well that's where the water goes see it see the handles right there so how this gutter was leaking it was definitely what was tearing up and ruining that latch but i am going to redo this one soon because it probably wasn't helping all right so there we go that's it um any links i put there on amazon will help me help you help me they give me like 10 20 30 cents one time we've got a dollar for something amazing okay so yeah please subscribe every little bit helps during these times as always i'm rj see you each and every day bye bye all right everybody. so just the one panel being fixed look at that and y'all like what are we gonna see it poured on my trouble ground it poured like thunderstorms for three four five hours thunder lightning like heavy with the cameras on my house you can barely see out type stuff see how wet everything is look see all the water on the tone show i'm on top Usually, this would be soaked in here, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Some got in here, and uh, that's like, I mean, that's almost just moisture. Yeah. I'm gonna pull the tarp and see. Oh. Okay.
Okay. This is not wet. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. It's dry, guys. So, you can see, usually I think it here, water kept going. It got tacked enough before the ring. That's what I was worried about. Nothing got in. And this panel holds water. It looks like it is again, actually. If you can see, come here, look. See, this is flat. Look. Yeah. See it bowing? Yeah. I think the panel's got water in it again. But it all made it through this channel out to here. And this one being fixed made it get to this channel and get out to the side. Here's a little water right here. See it? Huh? See it? No. A little drip. So it probably need to do that back one. So exciting. No more water in the truck bed. If it didn't get in this time, the only way it's ever going to get in now is maybe that kind of rain with uh, heavy driving at a high speed. What do you think? Well, that's it, guys. That's your repair. You do the same on these. But these hold. But yes, it'd be nice to replenish this guy. You see right here, water could get in. All right. There we go. Come on in. Guys, okay. for so there we go, guys. There's the video. It's all cleaned up, ready to go. Almost completely dry in there, but that's good enough. It used to drip, that's why we had the tarp in there, is we would cover things so it didn't get wet, right? Nothing. If it didn't get in that time, it never will. Okay, it might sometime. But yeah, that's it. Please like, subscribe. A little bit helps every time. As always, I'm RJ, see you each and every day, and bye-bye.